Welcome to Island Driver TV. This gives you a clue why we're here in Akahi Park in Kailua. It's Cars and Coffee, a big car show with a very diverse set of cars, and we're going to check it out. So this Miata caught our attention because of its super large rear wheels, and David's going to explain uh, the process he's going through. Yes, the frame had to be made. So I made a frame. Uh, one of my other instructors welded it for me because he takes welds and I arc weld. So he wanted to do that. So he did the welding and I uh, did the design of the frame. I put a short-chain 12-volt rear end in there with steel axles, uh, disc brakes right around, and I put 18 and a half inch wide Mickey Thompson tires in the back under the fenders. So what ultimately is going to power this thing? Ultimately, hopefully by next summer, it's going to be electric, full-on electric, not hybrid. So oh, I noticed it's got about nine gear shift knobs on it. What's the deal with that? Well, it's uh, automatic transmission, four-speed automatic transmission. It's to shift individual gears so you can't miss shift. That's mostly for racing, but I don't race the car. I just drive it. It's a daily driver for me. Well, and it's going to have those big tires. Yes, they are. Yep. And that's the difference between all these other Miatas is the tires, the frame, the rear end. Because usually uh, they don't have a swinging rear end like this. They have an independent rear end. OK, well, we'll see. Thanks. So one of my favorite engines, which was built in Cleveland, is in my car and Adrian's car, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his vehicle here. Good morning. Uh, this is my 1970 Mustang Mach 1. Uh, it's uh, all original, uh, but has been completely restored. It's got a 351 Cleveland. It have, uh, had a little bit of high performance work done to it, um, and uh, upgraded manifolds, upgraded carburetors, uh, completely redone interior. She's new to the island, and she's just happy to be out cruising Hawaii now. We brought her back from the mainland last year, and she's just getting accustomed to it. You know, I see these auctions these days of vehicles of this vintage, and they seem to be getting crazy prices. Is that really your are. feeling? It's interesting, the, the resto mods versus the, the uh, complete originals, um, there used to be such a disparity between the value of resto mods and the value of numbers matching cars. Um, but as I guess as we are getting older, with the comforts of a resto mod are, have improved those values. So, but the auctions are just are just getting crazy right now. Well, this is a beautiful car, and uh, I noticed these hood pins. Is that standard uh, equipment? That was a standard in the uh, in this package on the 1970 Mach 1s. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a beautiful car. Thanks. So not only do you get some interesting models that you haven't seen for a while, but also, let's say, some that need a little work. Like, this is a Toyota MR2. Uh, the paint's more than a little faded. It's got a puka in the roof now covered with uh, some aluminum foil. But I suspect uh, later on it may turn out to look like this one over here, which is completely redone. Uh, very nice. And also, there's some other MR2s right in this row. And speaking of cars that are no longer with us, but obviously a very hot one, and this one highly modified, Eric's going to tell us what it is and what he's done to it. So it's a Mitsubishi uh, Lancer Evolution 9. And um, I've done a lot of things underneath the hood, air suspension, rims. The air suspension is a full Air X uh, with uh, work wheels wrapped with uh, Toyo tires. I have a carbon fiber hood underneath the hood. There's um, RK titanium, full RK titan titanium up pipe, uh, low pipe. Can you raise and lower the suspension? Uh, yes. I was going to say, man, this baby is really low. And the seats in there are like racing seats, right? Uh, I have the bright um, full seats. Um, I have a bright rear seats with Takata harness. And um, it's the reclinable uh, bright seats. And, and the engine done any work there? Yes, um, it's tuned by um, Doug's Dyno, uh, 360 uh, horsepower, and it's on um, speed density. Well, that's very nice, thanks. So I saw this particular vehicle rumbling in, and Troy's going to tell us uh, what it is and what modifications have occurred. It's a 1948 Ford F1. Uh, modifications are chopped 8 inches, it's got an 81 Camaro front subframe, it's got a 468 Chevrolet with a 671 blower, two Predator carburetors, narrowed 9 inch forward rear end. Other than that, it's stock. <laughs> so, how much horsepower is this developed? Do you have any idea? It, the blueprint that I put it together on estimated 800, I've never dined on it, so. 800? 
So uh, you've done some body modifications. What have they been? Uh, the front end. I, I modified the front end. Like I said, chopped the top. The running boards are actually Chevrolet running boards that I turned around backwards and stuck on there. It's a little bit of everything. It's kind of like a Johnny Cash car. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to have you start it up so we can get a little noise. Cars and Coffee goes to a lot of different spots for their shows. This one was in Kailua, but we're going to check out other ones at different locations.